Welcome to Fate Awakens, and we are here with our first one-shot. Uh, unfortunately, this week we have a member who is having to quarantine, so we decided to give you one of Edmund Gaunt's fairy tales from his library. Uh, for this one-shot, we're going to have everyone introduce themselves from around the table. We'll start with Neil's character first. Oh boy. So, my character is Dysel the Tower, and he is a tanky boy. Tanky he's boy. Just, he's a tanky boy. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Artificer armor and rune knight fighter, both from, I believe, Tasha's. Tasha's? Tasha's? Sure. We're going to go with Tasha's. Tasha's. That sounds right. <laughs> that's all. That's all I got. Alright, so I'm playing Orlin Tealeaf. Kind of a happy-go-lucky, will help a friend in need, halfling. You Being a, <laughs> you know, I'm tall so most of the time. Fantasy like game. Uh, I am playing uh, Hassan Silvertide. Uh, he has uh, six wizard levels and a lot of warlock levels, but uh, a couple warlock levels. But, uh, he's, <laughs> but yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, just here to make things wet. Mm, what? what? <laughs> uh, I'm did a fabulous warlock. Did I hear bard levels? <laughs> I, I don't know if I like that, but okay. <laughs> right, uh, yeah. Very aquatic theme, very marine like. Um, gonna be with it. Well, um, my name, I'm a level 8 bard, and my name is Fender Steinway Stradivarius, and I am a tabaxi bard. Straight, straight up bard. So. College of Eloquence subclass, um, and I was a bounty hunter. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Old Dill. <laughs> Old Mr. Bonker here. Uh, Dill Bonker is an everyman. He a studier of many things, but master of none. Master of none. Uh, he's quick on his feet, for sure. Um, he's studied... Uh, the art of the rangers spent some time in a monastery with some monks uh, fought in some arenas as a fighter and uh, also joined the thieves guild as a rogue so he's a level 2 in all of those interesting Mm -hmm. (laughs) alright as you know everyone's a little ridiculous right now (laughs) you said fairy tales (laughs) well everything very logically (laughs) <laughs> sure you did. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and, and start. Uh, as y'all are traveling together, coming back from your last adventure, where you slayed the largest dragon you've ever seen. It's about eight feet tall. <laughs> Solid. We're forward than I thought we were. <laughs> yep, to me. So as you are all walking back to town, uh, you notice that everyone just seems to be ignoring you, which is not normal. You're just kind of walking by and not even like anything's happening. This is your normal town you've been to many, many times. Not that I crave attention, but this seems a bit much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do they know we slayed a dragon? Like, or, like a whole dragon. <laughs> eight whole feet of dragon? <laughs> like not. That's only a foot taller than me, but still, <laughs> eight whole feet of dragon? That's more than twice me, guys. <laughs> what? What's happening? We know you have, you know, uh, a little bit of problems. Maybe there's... Yeah. Something going on? Does do people look to me in a rush or confused? Or just, going just on? completely ignoring us. So they're just walking by, like not even saying hello. Uh, they're saying hello to the people that walk by you as they're crossing past, but they just seem to not even notice you. I would like to do the old "Am I Invisible?" check, and I'm gonna find the nearest <laughs> person and do the whole. <laughs> <laughs> as you do that, you run into them and they say, "Oh, sorry," and walk by. Not invisible. We're good. Okay. Okay. Just ignored. See, it's a little worse, I think. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Yeah. Well, well, we're emotionally invisible. Uh, a drink, then. I mean, just did. killed just a dragon. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, obviously. Yeah. Flawlessly. I can't think of a single thing we did wrong. It was I a perfect think. dragon fight, honestly. Yeah. Who could say differently? Yeah, no one. Literally yeah. no one. Yeah. Literally I'm pretty crazy. sure it cried at the end. I, I, think it it did. Did. I, I do remember crying. crying. I dragon saw it here. Yeah. Uh, I'm down for drinks. Uh, yeah, All right, let's do so it. As you guys go through the town square and into your favorite tavern, Tavern of Silverhide, uh, the 
Dragonborn behind the bar mm. is sitting there serving drinks. <laughs> uh, hey He's a nice buddy. little silver dragonborn. Hi. Um, silver Hyde, H I D. Yep, that's his uh, that's his name. It's very close to my last name. All right, as he sits, y'all sit down at the bar, wait for drinks. He seems to get everyone around you, just doesn't stop at you. Is it because we killed a dragon? Let's be honest. (laughs) (laughs) He's a dragonborn, and we killed a dragon. I could see where the tension would come from. (laughs) I'll, uh, say, hello? He looks right past you, looks down the bar, and then goes back to who he was talking to. Well, if he won't make us drinks, then I'll get up and I'll go behind the bar. Oh, okay, you get up, go behind the bar. And I'm going to make everyone drinks. All right. You start pouring drinks. He's still sitting, talking to the same person. <laughs> you know, I oh, thought yeah. this was a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a pretty cool Suddenly turn found the event. silver lining. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. All right. Uh, I drink to my heart's content, I think. You guys drink. Uh, at one point when you're like making small talk with each other since no one else is talking to you, the dragonborn comes by and just like looks at your drinks really weird and just starts picking them up. Bruh! <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out that I can I'm drink gonna, everyone in this room under the table due to my physique. I'm gonna so very I'm just lightly, chugging. <laughs> I'm gonna very lightly like swipe at his hand while he tries to take my drink away. Make a slight hand check. Woohoo, I'm good. I'm like two and I'm almost passed out. 18? 18. Uh, he goes to turn, and all of a sudden he, he looks down at his hand and looks back at the table. He sees the drink right there where it was. You uh, get it out of his hand easily. He, he goes back and just grabs it again. And I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it he, down. As he pulls it, he he kind of forces it out of your hand and breaks the actual uh, the side off the mug, the handle. I'm going to pick up right, my guys. mug and like, start going like this. He, he looks at it and he just starts backing away and he, he goes to a bar patron not too far from you. Point, taps on the shoulder and points at the mug floating. I did the Are We Invisible check earlier. I may have been mistaken about this. <laughs> uh, okay. Hello? He looks around again. Okay. Um... It's the mug. <laughs> the spirit of alcohol! He, he starts so, looking around even more and I'm it's like... Gonna, I'm gonna use... I'm gonna try and use this. I'm gonna try and use universal speech. Um, I can make creatures understand me for an hour. Okay. So up to five creatures. So I'm gonna use universal speech on this guy. Okay. Um, and I'll just say... Um, can you see us at all? Who said that? I'm sitting right in front of you. The drinks? The mug moving? Can you see us? He goes behind a bar, grabs a large bottle of whiskey, <laughs> and he no, starts no, no. chugging. <laughs> there, are, there are five people sitting in front of you at the bar. He just had too much. I must down. remain full, or this inn will be haunted. He can only... <laughs> Make a persuasion check. <laughs> well, technically he can only understand me, but I hear ya. Oh no, he can hear all of us. <laughs> he can just can't see us. Yeah. You said, pers- uh, what did you say? Persuasion. persuasion. Uh, that's gonna be a 19. 19? He immediately looks at all the drinks, and he also like puts the handle back next to the, the drink that he broke it off of, and just starts pouring <laughs> the drink that he had in his hand. So I'm gonna try something. I see her, uh, just moving... I'm going to try to cast a minor illusion just over her of just another her. Just layer her real face in another face and see if you Alright, you do a, a vague image of her, just because it is a minor illusion. It's yeah, I mean, I'm not going to sound, it's just like the image of her. So he, that's still. he looks at her and is like... Did he react to that? Ma'am? Yes? There are five of us sitting here. What happened to you? As he, you definitely noticed that it's not even close to her. It's more of a like a blurred form of her. Yeah, I'll drop it because my concentration is important. And this... he immediately like sits back, looks at the alcohol, puts it down, and just kind of waves to everyone and just starts walking off. Oh, no. <laughs> I just want to say we should capitalize on the invisibility while we can. Right. <laughs> There's some shops in town. Like, I'm not generally one to play the murder hobo, but. Me. When invisible, do the invisible thing. Do we? We said you said we're familiar with this town. Yes. Is very there familiar. any magical items? <laughs> did it look like? Did it look like he had you, recognition you, on his face when he saw her? 
to an extent, but he also was already a little bit frightened at the time. And gotcha. Not 100% himself after seeing drinks flip. Uh, hanging out with these people, it doesn't seem like there's all that much, like, arcana among them, so I feel like I'm obligated to be the one that's like, do I know what's going on at all? Can I make any kind of arcana check? Has any sure, make an arcana check. Can I assist? Are you proficient with her? Yes, I am. You can. So you're not doing anything. You're adding his proficiency on top of your roll. What's your proficiency? Uh, Three. So just my proficiency or my proficiency and my modifier? Both. Plus seven, my friend. Nine plus seven is 16, plus my arcana, which is five, six, seven, eight. So 24, I think that's right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yep. So you have... Uh, there's like smoke coming out of my ears. All you <laughs> can figure out is that you are invisible. You don't know why, though. Did I mess up a spell okay, and so it backfired? And like, we can see each other. Yeah, you see each other. Fine. Back to Dill's question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, you do, you know of some magic items in this town. There's no magic item shop, but there are magic items around. Can we go get them? <laughs> should we go get them? We should, yes. Okay. We should go back. The closest one you know of is actually, there is a large battle axe that Silvermane has behind the bar. You, me, do we, uh, how high off the uh, ground is it? I'm seven uh, foot tall. You can reach it. It's about eight feet up. I'm just gonna stand up, walk behind the bar, take the axe, take my seat, and I'm just gonna plant the axe next to me. Uh, uh, you see one patron at the bar, kind of look at it, I don't care, and just kind of follow it to the seat. Uh, so nothing we're wearing can be seen either. So maybe you just like, yeah, can I like put it on my back next to my mall? Hey, he follows it, and he's kind of looking at his drink and looking back at the mall okay. or the um, axe. Can I, while you guys do your thing, can I see how, what's magical about sex? Is that a thing I can do? I don't have it. I don't know why I would be that. I think. Yeah. Anybody got that? <laughs> what? Identify? Anybody? Mm-hmm. I do as a ritual. Is it a, what are y'all doing? It's like a minute. I think I'm going to try and, right. um... Ten minutes. Cast a spell magic. That's a ritual. Okay. Oh, at um, what level? Don't, don't cast it on me. <laughs> I, I, leave, I leave the end. <laughs> right eyes, I'm taking a good 10 steps back. With my newfound axe friends. I leave the narrative. Um, do you mind if I cast a spell magic on you? I'm completely fine with that. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm nothing Alright, so I will at third level, maybe? Um, yeah, so I'll just use my third level slot. Um, so I'll cast a spell magic on you. Do I need to roll? You do that, and then you don't see anything take effect. Oh, so she does need to roll? So for each spell of fourth level or higher, make an ability check, and then... I think he's saying... That's not a spell. I think she's saying if you rolled a 20, you would fail still. (laughs) I don't think it's dispellable. Yeah. Um, so... Back to our escapades! I mean... So it's like almost a strictly, like... Strict buff, honestly. Like, That's I what I'm saying. It's not every day, like, day greater invisibility just falls into your eye. I'm like, even if I want yeah, to. I'm one, this never ends. I'm one fourth of a rogue right now. We have, <laughs> come on. We have each other. But what are we going to do? We have each other. Did the dragon do this? Did we get, like, cursed? What well, is going on? Did we win this fight twice? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's going to be some lingering magic. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna go find one of those other magical yeah. items you yeah, said we right. knew about. Grasping at straws. Okay. Whatever one would be most appealing to someone like me. Okay. An everyman. <laughs> An everyman. Uh, there are some boots of swiftness that you know a monk has. You hey, you want that? Are they <laughs> on his feet? Because we can make that happen. <laughs> you find a magical yeah, multi purpose. Is he wearing them? No, he keeps them in a chest in his home. Oh, I'll go there then. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you go, you're walking there, is everyone following? Or? I'll follow. Okay. Me and yeah, him are on the same page. Well, you're getting escapade. some weird looks. You even get someone that reaches out and grabs the axe and just kind of lets go as it keeps moving by. It's actually the floating axe now. There's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I would like to carry it in front of me. Like, okay. Okay. So yeah. it's like walking the streets. <laughs> you're, you're, people are now like looking towards this axe and just kind of parking. As, as they should. They should. <laughs> right? There's no immediate threat. Even if I wasn't invisible, <laughs> as they should. What about you two? Following. Okay. Yeah. Following? Yeah. 
be following. Um, I'm just bamboozled. I am probably gonna keep trying as we walk past people. I'm gonna like bump into everyone. Uh, so as they part from them, you're kind of in the back, kind of going to the sides and bumping into people. Shoulder yeah. check. They, they don't notice you, but all of a sudden you bump them and they like turn around and then start looking around like... Is that you? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep doing that until hopefully someone <laughs> actually looks at me. Okay. Oh shit. Sure. Yeah, no one... <laughs> you watching people soon? <laughs> Are you? Oh, okay. So Alright, like right. so you get to the house, the just... door's unlocked. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> Even better. Perfect. I open the door. You open the door, and immediately this old woman just looks up at the door and just stares. Must have been the wind. <laughs> uh, I walk to the chest, wherever that is. Okay, so you walk across the room. You don't know where this chest is, but you know he's said it's in his chest at most times. Uh, while he's doing that, I would like to look for any religious books in the home. Signifying what D they worship. <laughs> yeah, that's perception. That's this degenerated Are so you fast. searching or just kind of browsing? I'm looking for a chest. Roll investigation. Yeah. Ooh, Seven. Uh, Twenty-two. Okay. Nice. You don't see a chest in this direct room. You open the next door as Grandma looks at that door now. Okay. You look through. You see the chest dead in front of you. It's ornate and definitely something. Something would be inside of. Grandma's now standing up and kind of hunched over and like looking in this Close room. Close the door behind me. And she, <laughs> and I go, and I go, and I go, I go. <laughs> she, she, you hear a rocking chair just start creaking back and forth. Uh, Sad. You don't, you find some story tell, some little children's who, books. Who would be the dominant deity in this area? Uh, you said we're familiar. So. Roll a... Religion check for me. Not good at those either. Oh no, I am. I am good at those. Fourteen. Plus seven. Uh, <laughs> you know the most dominant deity around here to be Yule, the goddess of charity. Yule. Yule. Oh, yeah. Yule. Charity. <laughs> mm. Hello, grandmother. This is Yule. Thanks for having us. Goddess. Goddess Yule. Uh, yeah. Um. Thanks for the charity. You've done great. Just want to shout out to you. My friends here are making their presence known. They're shy. They didn't want to frighten you. That's why you can't see them. Just ignore them. They're just gifting you for your charity and your worship of the goddess. You'll... Uh, oh, no. I've never spoken with you before. First time for everything. By the way, I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Did you happen to have any food? I... I can... As an offering, of course. I can make some quail. Anything, like, ready to go now? I'm, I'm tight, tight schedule. <laughs> I, I might have some rice. That works. It's not made, though, but it's ready to eat. Never mind, you've done enough, as I see him, like, holding the boots. <laughs> Wearing the boots? Sure. As you just kind of speed your way through, like, flash. <laughs> yeah. When he started talking, I'm just going to throw up. Like a minor illusion of just whatever symbol that this goddess has, whatever holy symbol. Okay. Just to give her something to focus on, so she's not looking at anything else other than that. Okay. Immediately just she like looks up at the, the symbol, air. and just like immediately, like kind of with her hunchback, just kind of goes down. No, 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 no. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. On your feet. It's all good. <laughs> We're chill around here. Thank you, goddess. I've never had the the honor. This has such a masculine voice. <laughs> <laughs> so as I see like all of them, I'm assuming you guys are ready. I'm gonna kind of like look around the room like you guys ready. I'm just scratching my head. <laughs> How is this working? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold open the door and just kind of like gesture them through. Many blessings, grandmother. Many blessings. Thank you. I didn't know you had the form of an axe, by the way, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, Very I'm just gonna step out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have an idea on how to get people's attention. Oh, well, you, get more right you should try that later. We'll be back. And, yeah. and gather people around that are easy to pickpocket. There we go. Now, <laughs> now, yeah. now you're thinking. Yeah. Let's draw the armorers oh, out, for is there, sure. Is there a um, piano anywhere in town? Oh, boy. <laughs> there is not a piano, um, but there. every once in a while you'll see like a small group start to play instruments in the 
uh, the tavern y'all were at. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the tavern and look for instruments. I have a good idea, so go ahead. Let's do this. <laughs> Can you grab me some full plate while you're out? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bud. For the record, I am somewhat still concerned about this, but I know I've known you guys enough <laughs> that I won't interrupt. I'll let this play out. But at some point, we are going to need to solve this issue. Just throwing it up there, and I back up. Yeah. So let's go find some instruments. Okay. You go to the tavern. There, there's one guy that's got a deal there, mm-hmm. and um, you know he usually plays with about three or four there. Okay. So you know they're coming. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and take his veal. Okay. And I am going to stand, like, dead and, like, in a big, just space. I'm going to start playing it. Are you proficient with this instrument? Yes. <laughs> While she plays, <laughs> I will have the axe the dance horns. along to the music. <laughs> there is a boots on, don't you? <laughs> There's an axe. I think I'm going to shop. Over okay. There, if we're going to call it 22. that. 22. Yeah. Roll performance, too, I guess. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Every time the axe goes one side, I make the sound of like a twang, twang, twang. Uh, that's just a straight 15. I have nothing in performance. <laughs> okay. So, immediately, the, the human that brought the instrument looks up at the axe and just starts like wide-eyed, but at the same time you, you see his foot tapping on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Axie, the dancing axe. <laughs> axe, axe face. And he's looking at the instrument in the background too, like he's going, he's not wanting to move. He is just standing dead still, staring at the axe and the viol. His viol is floating and an axe is dancing around him. I wouldn't move either. <laughs> Uh, Silvermane comes back from behind the bar and just sees this and just walks straight back. <laughs> yes, he should. He was rude earlier. So I, right. think, I think that um, if no one's like gathering around, we just walk and keep playing. Oh yeah, we'll keep this charade up for a while. We'll so whatever you want to do. No one's getting out. They're just they've all stopped drinking, stopped what they're doing. They're just immediately just looking at this axe dance to the viol that's floating behind it. Let's walk. Let's take everyone outside. <coughs> to the square? That's so, right. so we go to the town square. Okay, you all start walking outside. Yeah. Where, where are you three going? What are you all doing? You're stealing stuff. I'm, yeah. Whatever shops I come across in order, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> roll, just roll a couple side of hand checks for me at advantage. At advantage. Like that. Uh, that's going to be a 24. Okay. You can get yourself a full plate, no problem. Okay. That one's going to be a 20. You get your half plate, too. <laughs> well, I'm just getting full plate. Oh, well, okay. Fine, you got two full plates. But my side well, no, I mean, like, <laughs> I, I only need the one for him. Okay. But sure, you can just get the one full plate. Well, let's get the one for him. Right? Okay. Yeah. Full plates. But then, eight, if, like, there's eight, a potion shop or... Eight, eight, or eight, 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 Thomas's character asked for one, too. Oh, did you ask for one, too? Half, if it was there. Oh, that's why you said that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, DM. <laughs> I appreciate you. Taking, All right. Take an inspiration. So what about you? <laughs> inspiration. It does whatever you want it to do. You're the DM. What about you two? What are y'all doing? I don't know. As they're kind of walking out with uh, the dancing axe, I kind of look over like, you know, I'm still worried about this. <laughs> the same, uh, alright, well, let me at least try this, and I'll, um, just kind of rub assembles uh, across the wall, I'm not, whatever armor I am wearing, um, and I'm just gonna try to cast, fi- or not cast my familiar, but use my familiar to appear, and it's just like a little seagull just flying about. Okay. And, um, you look oh! at your seagull, it looks kind of skeletal. Yeah. Oh, uh, You go over there. No. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just make him land on something, and, uh, I will just... I'll just jump into its eyes and make it look at us and see what it sees. Okay. Uh, so what do I see looking at us? You see a bunch of ghosts. Like, oh, we're dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're talking. Uh, wish I didn't do that. But I dismiss him. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him have five more minutes of free time, okay. and then we'll address <laughs> this soon. I mean, so you and I don't know about yet. I need um, to play an hour with this armor. 
Are I, we dead? I appear in the square and like give you guys your stuff, and I say, We're not "Man, not that, this is great. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> They're pretty awesome." Uh, I have a question about the so I can remove my armor as an action. Okay. Like it removes instantly as an action, and then it takes about an hour to integrate the next set of armor into my body. Okay. When I integrate that armor, does it turn invisible with me? You have to find out. Okay, well, I'm going to need to sit on the floor and do that real quick. So there's about to be some floating armor for about an hour. <laughs> okay. As I make some necessary changes Are you just to my in the body. square doing this? Yeah, I'm just sitting cross-legged like a kid on the floor, just putting armor pieces in as they, like, sink in. Well, to be fair, there was a couple things you guys want to identify anyway, right? Yeah, the axe. Yeah. And the shoes. Eventually, cool. once you the guys... The shoes are already there. What do you mean? Oh, you, you've noticed the difference already in the shoes. Yeah, I know what to, I still need to know what they do, right? Once you guys finish your string of robberies, we can just take a while and I'll show uh, everyone what everyone yeah, does. Any, 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 any other shops of interest or people I know that are rich or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make me a, make me two sleight of hand checks and roll me another d20. So first sleight of hand check is 22. Second one is 17. And what was the last check? Just those just straight. Just a d20. 20. 20. 11. Okay. For this point, you're going to get, you said 11? For the trading point, yeah. You're getting six magic items. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. So One shot. In and out the town. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pause there as I get your list of magical items. Okay. I got the um, Pipes of Haunting, and it is a item that when I play them, and I can expend three, like, slots, um, her long rest, I think. Um, and when I play them, if people around me, um, enemies, fail at a wisdom saving throw, they're scared of me. Which is nice. Spooky pipes. Uh, I got some boots of swiftness, so that doubles my already absurd movement speed to 90 feet. And I can go, I can haste once a day. Fast. Um, I got a really cold axe. <laughs> it it freezes things nice. when I hit them. That's about it. I got a potion that makes me extremely strong. Being a halfling, I plan on breaking all the shins. <laughs> I received a pearl power, just gives me a little bit more spell slots. And uh, a trident of fish command, which is exactly what it sounds like. You command fish with the trident, yeah. All right. So. Yeah, that's it. That's what I got. <laughs> As you're like here. holding these items everywhere, uh, do you want to sit in the middle of this town and attune to them, or how do you want to do this? Yeah, I, th yeah. I think um, knowing. Everyone is extremely eyeballing these items now. Yeah, I, th I think knowing what I found out, I try to like just like find an alleyway or just like an empty room or. We just, like, walk wherever we want. Just, I like, can tiny hut right here, right now. <laughs> that would be tight. Uh, sure. Just, yeah. I mean, not, maybe not in the middle of town, but when people, like... Right here, right now. Can't tiny hut. You know, I can't okay, stop. Okay, tiny hut. <laughs> There's I'm a just, hut like, in front of you. Let's go inside, guys. I was like, actually, maybe we should... All right, we're going in the hut. <laughs> in the hut. I go in the hut. And then and no go. one else can come in. Correct. And for the sake of this, I think I just identify all these and let everyone know what they have. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, hey, uh, so we should talk. Uh, thank you for the for the half plate, by the way. Put the half plate on. Yeah. Um, I am no longer certain we are among the living anymore. Huh? Huh? I'm still putting on armor. <laughs> uh, so I had... My, my, my good sea little friend look at us. I jumped in his eyes and we look real wiggly wobbly. We we're kind of ghosting right now. I don't know what to think about. And I'm actually making a, a minor illusion of what we look like. Just whoosh, whoosh. Okay, that's actually pretty really accurate because it's you can't we, too much image with We won the fight, right? Yeah. Did not win the fight? I remember we, it. I, remember, I saw a tear. I saw a tear. <laughs> I, I canonically saw a tear. Yeah, there was right. a tear. I, but... But we didn't? I mean, we're interacting with the world, so we're not... We're not, we're not fully dead. dead. Right. So then what is our purpose? 
I don't know. Like, if we were ethereal, then they wouldn't be able to hear us. If we were ghosts, we wouldn't be able to interact with things. This doesn't make sense. I don't know. Right. Like, okay. I'm definitely benefiting from this very material boot. <laughs> yes. But I don't want to be dead. I mean, that's the other thing. We're, but we're, we're dead. We're, like, attuning to items, so we have, like, some kind of magical core. I, I are, are we not done with our previous our previous quest? Like, Should what? we go find this dragon? The dragon we killed? Maybe. But did we kill it? We killed Are we dragon. remembering it wrong? To be fair, the last thing I remember is it's crying. Do my so. memories feel solid of the fight? Roll me a intelligence check. Can I also do that really badly? <laughs> Straight intelligence. I need an hour with this armor, so I'm not doing anything. Uh, 14. They feel solid. I mean, you don't feel like you missed a beat. Okay, okay, okay. Um, maybe we should just go check the corpse. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of with you on that. Or at least retrace our steps and see how far we get back. Alright, let's right. attune to these, uh... Let's do this in an hour. Yeah. An hour of pops. Yeah. Tiny hooks up for what? Yeah, did anyone like yeah. walk into the hut? Because like they can't get through, right? They can't. They, <laughs> they can't get through. Oh. Okay. They're just <laughs> I'm laughing because I see people just bouncing off the walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm in the middle of town. Slightly less happy than I was earlier, but I'm still pretty happy. <laughs> so all you guys attune to it as needed because the hut lasts eight hours. Mm-hmm. So you get what you need, get done in the eight hours. If you even want to stay there the whole full eight hours. No, probably not. Probably just a two minute time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's let let gather our thoughts and prayers. So is there and are there any other like magicians or sorcerers or any other magic users in town other than that one guy that we stole from? Definitely <laughs> some monk. No, that was a monk, my bad. Uh, there's a couple of, uh, of wizards that are part of, part of the, uh, the school of wizardry around. I don't trust them. more acolytes than anything else. Wizards are the worst. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're traditional kind of bad as ghosts. Yeah. We have also played into that. <laughs> yeah. We played into a lot of stereotypes. Yeah. <laughs> I think we checked the dragon. Well, I think we gotta double check the dragon. Okay. Um, I can use... A dimension door. I think it was five hundred feet. Okay. Mm-hmm. How far away is the How dragon? How far away is the dragon? Uh, quite a few days travel. Oh. What's it like? What's it like? <laughs> How far away is the dragon like for this guy? Do we get exhausted? <laughs> you can't. Do we get exhausted? If we're bumping into people, I would think that we get exhausted. But do we? Do we feel tired at all? Do you feel the normal pains of like throughout the day, hunger, thirst, anything like that? You, no. you felt I'm hungry a those, quite so. a bit. You feel thirsty. You f- feel tired. And it's... we were able to drink the alcohol. Oh yeah. We're like interacting with things. That's really Maybe we should not have to worry about eating. Maybe we should eat. I don't. So. Then go ahead and eat. Mm-hmm. I yeah. yeah. While you're in here, you guys can eat. <laughs> I, I don't eat, drink, or sleep, so. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, armor. We're gonna we're gonna steal some stuff. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Okay. I was barely alive before. Is there right, like an orphanage you... or something around we can steal? An or orphanage, or? huh? <laughs> 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 they families, they have food. Who are they gonna tell? Just for you. So as you guys just walk around town just picking up random food from people and it's, tables, yeah. whatever, you eat a good bit and drink a good bit and you still feel hungry and thirsty. Oh boy, here it is. Here we go. Here it is. Alright, maybe we should check out a wizard real quick. A couple days is not a good idea. Yeah. Alright. Okay, crush my spirits. Okay. Uh, it's not hard to find. There is actually a uh, building specifically for the school. Mm-hmm. Um, as you go in, immediately uh, you see the two wizards cast a spell, and then look very confused. At us? Towards y'all's direction, going through the door. Um... So... I'll say... They can hear us, I think, yeah. Yeah, I'll say... Yule has come to you! Oh, <laughs> oh it's yes. <laughs> They all want to. Uh, immediately, one of the wizards... Uh, starts 
moving his hands around, and you just see flames start appearing in his fingers. Not in <laughs> an adversarial way. <laughs> <laughs> the friendly guy. You are not Yule. You are a bunch of armor and weapons. Can you not see us in our true form, wizard? Open your eyes. Use my suggest your ability. You walk away, demon. I tap him on the shoulder, around him quickly, and then also he, he follows your boots. <laughs> oh wait! Uh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> wait a minute. He follows your boots most of the way around and loses you somewhere around here, uh-huh. and then like starts looking around and all of a sudden sees your boots over there again. It's like. What demon are you? Speak your name. I'll Dill Bonker. <laughs> <laughs> Dill. <laughs> Dill left for a quest about a week ago. Do I know this was the same? Uh, you recognize him. You don't know him by name. I go, damn it, man, it's me. I was just messing with you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> How come I can't see you? We're all here. We're all here. Uh, Hi. And we Hi. think Hi. we Hi. are dead. Ish. 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 We came from. We're I was, dead. Just, I was just messing with you. Help us. <laughs> we are deceased adjacent. <laughs> yeah, we're dead adjacent. Help us, meow. What? <laughs> Come on, you got something for this? <laughs> Is that like a cream? I, I'm sorry? <laughs> like a pill? So, we successfully... Maybe you should see a cleric, not a wizard. Can you... You magic people you are have like same. a revival spell, maybe, or something? Yeah, you people. You, you know, once again, I'll repeat, maybe a priest can help you a little bit more than me. Do you know one who's not very powerful? Not <laughs> nearby. <laughs> How far away? Uh, I mean... Can you give us that distance in feet? <laughs> <laughs> Thousands? Can you take us... Uh, that's what, like, a uh, couple hours for you? Not... Teleports? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Got any free teleports? <laughs> not... 30 seconds. <laughs> maybe my teacher, not me. Ah, where's your teacher then? Uh, uh at the school. Okay. Up north. Oh, oh. Yeah, the school. That would be where the most powerful versions of you would be. <laughs> you could say that. You're, wel- you're welcome to get there quicker than I am. Oh yeah, no doubt about that. Uh, do you have a teleportation circle to get to the school here? I know that's a common practice. We have a mule. <laughs> we call him teleportation mule. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, a mule is made from teleport. <laughs> Fear, I fear uh, a mule or a horse would only slow me down. <laughs> this is true. He's fast. <laughs> Why did you steal his uh, boots, by the way? Ooh. And run. that axe looks familiar, too. Well, actually... Uh, dragons hoard wealth, and this was part of the dragon's hoard that we yeah. slain. He's, he's dragon stole it from the town. We so conquered it from the dragon. How did y'all die if you killed the dragon? That's what we're trying to figure That's out. That's the very question. Spooky. That's what we're trying to figure out. Feel free to theorycraft with us. You do realize I'm just an acolyte, correct? Well, we really, like, locked on to you, so you're kind of in the seat now. <laughs> so. You know, I just learned how to use this spell called Firebolt. You know what? So. I, didn't, I didn't want to say this, but you've left me no other choice. I'd like to speak with your manager. <laughs> um, I believe it's pronounced menager. menager. That's like the step above acolyte. You, you know, <laughs> you you can. I mean, he has to send you a message first, and no. then you can usually reply. But deal. I have message. I was about to say, like, we Do I know who his like, manager is? I am a wizard, and if I'm from here, I feel like I would spend some you know amount of time is? in this place. You How far away is this oh, school? A few thousand, a few thousand feet. feet. Miles. Miles. Okay. A long ways so away. That's like two hours for him. <laughs> I can't teleport. I can't do that kind of thing. It, the school is <laughs> hundreds of miles away. Alright, alright. So he's the only one here. He's like the highest. Him and the other guy, yeah. 
Yeah, our city is black. For acolytes. Non-existent security. Yeah, we're yeah. <laughs> So he's just stealing everything. <laughs> Dude, can only cast Fireball? <laughs> I learned that eight levels ago. <laughs> Is there anyone that any of us would think could possibly help other than this team? Yeah, we've, we've lived whole lives. This, in this town? Crazy old man in the hut. Something. No, this town is very... It's it's more of a trading town. It's not magically inclined more than y'all. Y'all are pretty much the heroes of town. What's the next closest large town? The next closest large town there is go. south of here. Awesome. And it would be... Give me just a second to pull up the map. Honestly, if our options seem to be like retrace our steps or just go to a different town and hope, I think we should try to go back to where we came from and see if they can... Check the dragons yeah, first. Here's the issue. But the dragons it's are multiple, several days away. Multiple days, and we have now found out food does not satisfy us, which is a problem for four fifths of this party. Hmm. What if we have to eat, like, people? Something. <laughs> something. <laughs> Where does one just find a soul? Uh, a town that nothing happens in. Like, we would this have to one. kill someone. <laughs> I mean,. I'm not excited about it. I can be persuaded. No rock unturned, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe they have like stone. Can we more offensive like, leprosy? Can like, we find like hospice care? <laughs> that's more that. They're on their way out anyway. I brought up an orphanage earlier. No one was interested. I was. <laughs> I said well, we can rob. We thought we could eat. robbing an orphanage. We oh, now we're just talking about killing the orphans. Now <laughs> it's fine. Well, no, consuming. Let nothing go away. Not just consuming no, their souls. Their souls. <laughs> All right, after we. No, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we were just gonna rob the poor people. <laughs> You're the one wanting to consume their souls. I don't even. I don't know what sustains us, and that scares me. I don't like not knowing things. Yeah, do we get any inclination of, like, what we're hungry and thirsty for? You honestly, you've been hungry and thirsty for the last, this whole trip, pretty much. Mm. Um, it's... it's jerky tastes like cardboard. You all didn't so, have a lot of rations to deal with, so you all felt it was just kind of like how you were trying to make it throughout the week. But it's kind of Fine. been Fine. in the back of your mind this whole time. Like weird ghosts. Either we eat souls or we eat the misery of other people. So I don't know. So did it start after we left for the dragon or before? After you left the dragon. I think then, we gotta go to this dragon. I think we gotta go. That's yeah. where I'm at. It's gonna suck, but the largest town is Sachar. Okay. Nearby. How far away? Well, I still I think that we need it's to go about, to the dragon. It's about a two day journey. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's multiple days either way. Yeah. Okay, so let's go dragon then. Dragon. 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 Trace the. All right, it's not a great plan, but still oh, so you yeah. leave the wizard and his little, or the little acolyte, I should say. Thanks, Jim. Don't know if it's thing, but okay. I do tell the guy that if he has any updates, uh, message me. I don't have that. Sorry. Well, if, I never was taught. If his master comes back, he only has fireball. Listen. Yeah, I know, but like. I'm about to say, don't call yourself a wizard. He's he years old, right? right? <laughs> he plays <laughs> fun of them. He's not the only one who's making fun of the best part. Yeah. Ironically, that was spell called Spirit Trout. I'm gonna whisper you to say, so try, try the pipe song. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> let's see if right. it counts as a fish. So let's travel. Did not. So you are going back where you were before. Yep. Okay. Sure. Right. Hey, before can our we... adventure begun. Should we test if we should like if we can get hurt? I I bet we can hurt each other, but like uh I Jim ignite a fireball. Yeah. yeah. Can you do that fire thing you were talking about and just aim it right above these boots? I read a healing word. <laughs> <laughs> sure? Yeah, just g give me what you got. I'm just a little test here. He immediately Starts the fire in his hand and shoots up a little small, like oh, small baby. ball of fire, maybe as big as your fist. Baby's first I, fire. Oh. Did I intentionally fail or like let it hit you? It, as it, it does this eight hit you? No. 
Okay, it goes straight past you and it's the wall behind you. Give that's, me a minute, I can do this, I can do this. Okay, right right here, big guy. Hey, minor illusion me. Give him something to <laughs> he, he so hits again. a target on your chest? <laughs> <laughs> he hits another one, it just kind of goes off the left completely wide. The third one. I'll handle this. I'll just like rub his shoulders and I'm like, all right, it's just right there. There we go, hit me. It hits you. And you take five points of fire. I'm gonna go. I'm okay. Healing. Yep. They can hit us. They can hit us. Thanks, thanks, Jim. Healing word. Right. Sorry, I haven't like tried live targets yet, or whatever you are. Invisible targets. Let's go with that. Yeah. Boots. Yep. 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 Um, mm-hmm. So we can better. take damage. Right. Dead. So we feel more. Can invisible we deal damage? damage. <laughs> uh, hey, Jim. Jim, Jim, oh, uh, okay. we're gonna try something on you. <laughs> Don't worry. What? Not a threat. We're just gonna try to hit you oh, and see if that works as well. Wait, you're gonna what? No, no, I'll just I'll just cast cast Tasha's hideous laughter on it. That's damage. I can just like do What's a spell that won't hurt him, guys. Tasha's hideous laughter. Oh right, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I was thinking this just for sure, right? I was That's gonna punch him with my thunder fist. <laughs> That's a good call, actually. I'm done. It's only a D8. Plus 40. That is a grand total of 8. Thank you, sirs. Okay. He immediately like starts to... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and he just keels over. Okay. So... It works. We've new stuff to other people. Cool. Okay. So well, let's, let's, let's just... retrace our steps. Yeah. Yes. Like, I'm just gonna bend down and see what's in the spell book, just out of curiosity. Take it. You see a firebolt and a thunder wave. Okay, cool. I, I have that. Like, this. <laughs> this is not working. And I'm like a quarter caster. <laughs> All right. So as you guys start retracing your steps, we're gonna pause there. Okay. As you all return to the dungeon that had the black dragon that you slayed, you walk in, and who has dark vision? Three out of the five. Okay, more. Four. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Do you want dark vision? I saw hands. I can give you dark vision. Probably. All right, four out of the five of you have dark vision. Uh, this place is completely dark, except for what's coming through the door behind you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to use my magical tinkering, and I can touch his armor and make it glow. Okay. He's got five foot of light now. Okay. Just five? Just five. Okay. Well, you can see. <laughs> At least I won't walk into a wall. You can see the hand in front of his face. <laughs> Unless he's running. <laughs> so your armor is not glowing. And it was dark nice door. Was it dark the first time we came through here? Yes. Okay. Just to show. Well, I'm going to go forward and see if the dragon's still dead. Okay. Yep. And you are the Tibetan secret. Mm-hmm. You walk through. You walk around the fallen wall. And you see the dead corpse of the dragon. Are you all following suit? Yep. Yeah. All right, where do y'all want to be? I'd like to be in the front. So I'll be in the back. That's front. That's front as I can without running, without being truly in front because I can't see much. You can hold on to my cape. Done. Yeah. I'll take a few steps forward, and uh, as I do that, I'll rub a couple rooms on my armor and throw on armor of the Gathis because it lasts a while. Agathis, yeah. Okay. Agathis, yeah. Is that about where y'all want to be? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're, you're uh, right there. Okay. So you all won't see. Uh, you don't see. <laughs> I'll describe it to you. You all <laughs> see the dead dragon in front of you. The dragon's dead. Um, it's starting to smell in here. How you fast do you, you, you I don't can smell? It's it is starting to like decompose slowly. It has gotten to the point where the the blood's dry on the ground. And everything so like, is as you left it. So Acid marks everywhere. Dragon's, dragon's dead. dead. Yeah. What happened to us? Dragon. <laughs> so you go up and look at it. Yeah. Roll investigation. I'm gonna look around. Here. Survival or investigation? Since I can't really Guys, see, see no much, I, I will yell out. Twenty. You're gonna yell at what? Do we like still? Look the same? Did we look the same to each other? Like normal? Yes. But through his familiar eyes, we look ghostly. Yes, he knows that. And you saw the seagull, and it looked skeletal. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's not. He's not doing that. He's not doing that. You can't see it, but well, he did it right in front. Of him. Yeah. The, it just like doesn't have feathers. It's just a skeleton bird. Can it fly? Around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. You look around. What's your dark? You have normal dark vision. Yes. And you are where you're standing. Uh, Here. Yeah. His arm. It's on silver type. Okay, you don't see anything in your vision. There's a couple dark corners and everything, but there's kind of dark still to your visions. But the, the majority of this room, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Then I will walk around and check the other side of the wall if I see the wall. And roll initiative as something swoops down as you get closer to it. But why, though? Hmm? Hmm? It's part of what everyone's uh, As she starts to walk around, and looking up, she meets the eyes of this shadow dragon as it swoops towards her. Oh. Um, 12. Oh, no, I don't know. Appropriate. Can I duck? We'll get there in a second. <laughs> Justin? Nine. Uh, 22. Which is bad, because I don't want to go first. Far off a natural one. <laughs> hey, I don't see. We're booking. Just look at that. Okay. Eleven teams. Eleven? Yes. You can choose to lower yourself. You take a weird action and draw me one. Uh, yeah, true. Sure. We should try to talk to him. Or should we try to dominate him? Maybe it's a fish <laughs> drink. <laughs> this fish drink. shadow drink. This dragon down as a bitch. I'm just gonna be asking that. It identifies as an aquatic creature. No, first we polymorph it into a fish. Then we can. We can do that. <laughs> big brain. Yep. Big brain. Uh, that's a big brain move. I can shag one to the floor, so. Well, me too. I got Literally. Shackle. I don't know what you're talking about. The no, like shackles come from the ground, pull it to the floor. All right. Well, I feel like we've probably comboed some things before because I'm about to do some fun stuff. Bolt spell list. All right. Uh, as he's swooping down, out of the corner of your eye, you see the dragon coming in. Uh. Yep. That's not great, though. No. Uh, that, and I point to that. Um, how can I... Right now it is uh, probably about 20 feet off the ground. Perfect. Oh, less perfect. So whatever distance from here is just... All right. I'm just going to throw... Uh, I'm going to throw my hand out of the Just rub another rune on my armor, um, or maybe on my shield because I just got new armor. Yeah. Um, let's go with shield. Um, and just a torrent of water just rushes from the shield and like encompasses my arm, and I'll just throw a lance of like water that's still connected to me at it. Um, that leaves my fathomless war- uh, warlock bonus action attack. Uh, Twelve plus seven is eighteen. Nope, Nineteen. 19 hits. Um, so it's not much damage, it's just a d8 plus that's an 8. So 13 cold damage? If it takes cold damage? 13? Yep. Uh, as you hit it, uh, it looks like it, it kind of flinches a little bit, but continues down. Alright, uh, when that hits, as a part of the fabulous ability, um, it loses 10 feet of. Uh, movement, and then as my action, I'll use my other hand and I'll just like grasp onto nothing. Um, but the water that hits it will just continue uh, just whirling and wrapping it up, and it almost starts like a, a whirlwind uh, among it, and it doubles in weight. 
Um, so however much he weighed before, he weighs twice as much, and he gets some other debuffs that I'll tell you soon, but we can move on. Okay. Anything else? Uh, that's my action. Bonus action. Okay. Uh, his turn. Is. As he finishes the swoop down. Oh, can I move back one? One by one more square. I guess I still need to do that. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. As he finishes the swoop down at you, he is now coming at you with his claws first. Me? Can I try and duck out of the way? Or move? You can if you uh, don't get hit with this attack on your AC. Uh, 23 to hit. Mm-hmm. And the second claw, 25 to hit. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's going to be a total of Slashing damage. Right, he's also going to try to bite at you. Uh, say 19 hit. Yep. almost on top of her. Hmm. How far away am I, space-wise? You are... About 20 feet away. Alright, I will advance. All the way up on him? I'll be on him. If I can flank, I would like to. How much movement do you have? 30. You can almost flank. You're not quite close. Good enough. Uh, the weapon's still on my back. I will grab him with my thunder gauntlets. Going for a swing. Okay. Nat 20. Sick. Sweet. Okay. That's a crit. Uh, what are we doing? Double. Double. Max plus roll. Yeah, max plus roll. That works. Uh, 8 plus 4, that's 12. Uh, 16. 16 thunder damage. If he attacks anyone other than me, he gets disadvantage. Okay. Um, and as a bonus action, I will use defensive field. Okay. Let's see. Little no buffer room. Alright. Is that it for your turn? Um, sure. Alright, Justin. Alright, I'm going to bonus action cast Hunter's Mark on him. Okay. Uh, and then I will to attack him with my longbow. Okay. You were just 10 feet away. Oh, well, I want to be farther away if I can. Okay. Back me up. I have one team. <laughs> Are you sure? You want to be like in a corner? Or yeah, yeah. In a corner on the wall. Corners. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to attack. Does a 24 hit? Yes, it does. So I'll get 1d6 from Hunter's Mark, 1d6 from Sneak Attack, and my d8 for the long nose. And that is going to be 20 damage. 
Okay. You also get sneak attack. You roll it. Okay. 20. Mm-hmm. All right. After Justin, you sneak. Um, do I, do I notice the way that, um, the armor knight ran off, at least? Because I was right next to him. You have seen a few movements of light that went away from you towards that direction. Alright, so I'm gonna proceed. And you actually, it. Hunter's Mark, I believe, does it, it light them up at all? Yeah. Right, I mean, I'm, it puts a mark over their head. I don't know if it's just for me or if it's for everyone. I'm pretty sure it's visible to the party. Is it visible? I'll double check. We'll wait it's a mark for the party. I'm gonna say if it's visible, I'll immediately move up to it. You know there's definitely something over there. You so, hear you hear almost like wind in there. Or quick gushes of uh gotcha. gusts of wind. So being just pissed off that I can't see <laughs> very well, I'm going to enter rage. Okay. And move the direction the night just went. Nope, it's not letting up. Well, I have at least five feet of vision, so I'm just gonna move forward to light. Yeah. You'll eventually run it too, just going that Because I can move 35 feet, even though I'm half But. Yeah, once you move about 10 feet, you see everyone's vision. If you go on that way and just follow your vision, you'll find it. Gotcha. Uh-huh. It's, it's now a pretty decent sized dragon right in front of you. Very, very similar to the one you fought a week ago or so. Alright, um, yeah, I'm gonna use my action to make my swing longsword. 16. On the 16 first swing. not hit. Striking now this one, right? He is not. You have to be opposite. You're yeah, opposite. Yeah, yeah. I miss on that one as well. Okay. Anything else? Nope, that's gonna do it. Alright, going back to the top of the round, Thomas. Alright, so he's still gravity weld. He's still. I'm gonna cast Spear and Shield, um, which is kind of ironic. Um, which is a new spell from Tasha's. So it's almost like a Spirit Guardians, where you like manifest the aura around you, except it's like a bit tighter. Yeah. Um, so now the, the water that was just on my arm just continues swirling around me. There's like a little mini typhoon under my feet. Um, there's like I don't know some nautical spirits and things. Um, that's my bonus action, um, and as my action, I'll just throw two Eldritch Blasts at it. Okay. Two my twin die. Natural 20 and 16 plus 7. Okay, both hit. So... Your natural 20 is the maximum on the first die. Alright, so this is the crit. 10... 15... Plus Agonizing Blast. 19. So... 19 on the crit, okay. which is not a great crit, but whatever. Uh, normal attack. Plus an extra 7. 10. Uh, what? Was it 10? No, I, I, I had it. I had it. Um, but then the spirit, sh- spirit child gives me an extra d8 for every hit, so what I said, plus an extra 4, uh, we'll do radiant damage. Okay. And so. Two more things happen. Because I hit with the Spirit Shield, its speed is reduced by 10. And because I hit with an Eldritch Blast, Lethargic trigger. So its speed is reduced by 30 so far, currently. Okay. And I'll back up. Yeah. <laughs> if it has 30 feet of movement, it can't move. And it's also moving as How far are you backing up? As far as I can. I am not a melee boy. So. I mean, without being out of vision, you can go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'll be like, it's. He's pretty well locked. Do what you want with that. I'm done. Okay. Uh, he's going to turn to both of you. And immediately shoot a breath out at both of you. I need both of you to make a dexterity saving throw. Disadvantage on that attack. Because it's not direct. Who's both of you? Them two. Okay. Uh, Hannah and... Raging? Dex? I think? Danger Sense? Danger Sense. Danger Sense, yeah. 
see her t I mean is there what's the components is it components I believe it's all three herbal somatic herbal somatic herbal somatic yeah you definitely see it all right if I see her get hit by dragon nonsense fall she goes down, down and get back right up but then try to cast a spell shadow. on it yeah. yeah I'm gonna counter spell it in. okay okay what level was it it should be um, third third okay you just count I am officially out of third level. Anything on I big like really good spells. Um. <laughs> yeah. Not for uh, against us though. So. <laughs> 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 I only have, I only have three third level spells. I'm going to cool. use unsettling words. I'll expend a bardic inspiration die to give. Um, Is that a cantrip? Sure. Is that a spell or? It's an okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you already used your action. You have a bonus action. Sure. But I don't know if that's a bonus action. Right. So this would be basically Bardic Inspiration. Okay. <laughs> Instead so, of Dragon. Okay. You use your Bardic No, not to the... For sure. What are you giving it to you? Unsettling words, expend a Bardic Inspiration die to give a creature oh. within 60 feet a negative value gotcha. on their next saving throw. Who is it? <laughs> I was trying not to like well, you. If I can't see you, you can't see me. So, uh, and my bardic inspiration guys are D8s. So what do I get? So minus so one. One D8. One D8. Minus one D8. Yeah, you minus D8 now. So go ahead and roll it. That's a D10. 
Does it? Does it roll? Where am I do, do you roll when I write a roll? There. No, it's just counted right now. It's just right now. Okay. And next time you just say five. Five. Minus five. Minus five. That's On a my lot. Next save. That's a lot. <laughs> There's no right, small Dale. number. Yeah, we're against guys. bad guys. All right. <laughs> Seeing that there has been a feces fan collision, <laughs> I would like to. Can I find? Can I move into a flanking position? There's a wall in my way, so I can't tell if I can see. You're uh, which one are you? I'm the big guy with the right next one. Yes, you can. Move me to flank. Uh, how much space is around me? Not much. Is there? 10 feet square of space. No. I mean, to your sides, but not behind you. In front Can of you. I occupy a 10-foot space right now? To your sides only. If I were to grow large, what I did? You would be squished between the dragon and the wall. That's fine. As long as things are in range. Okay. Uh, I'm going to giant smite. So I am now large. Okay, you're also trying to force your way in between two of them that pushes you immediately out of flanking. That's fine. Put me in the corner. Here. Put me in. Uh, no. Oh, yes. Sort of fine spaces. Yeah, it actually kind of works. All right. Uh, I will giant might. Uh, and then I will, using my free action, draw my maul. Okay. And then I will action surge. Okay. And I will swing said maul. All right. Go for it. Uh, does a 19 hit? Yes. Okay. Uh, that connects. That is nine, twelve bludgeoning, and then I will expend my use of a fire rune on activation. It takes two d six more fire damage. So that was twelve bludgeoning. Yep. Uh, Ten fire, and then it makes a strength save. Uh, and, uh, no, I have extra attack. Okay, go for it. I will be swinging them all again. Okay. Does a 16 hit? No. That will be my turn. All right. Drink. That was the Wombo Combo. The land. <laughs> all, right. all right, and Justin, you're next. All right. In theory, this should work. I'm going to activate my boots. Okay, because I have an action, I guess, to haste. Set it in this actual thing. I think it was it's an action. Is it an action? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Usually it needs to be so. Okay. But because of haste, I have another action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna walk up to him. No problem. And do I get the benefits Whereas, of flanking since he's flanking? Right next to him. Since he is flanking. Uh, you are not flanking until you are opposite of him. But he is flanked. So. What are you trying to do? I'm going to hit him. Are you trying to get sneak attack? Why well, get sneak attack? Me? Because he's within five minutes. Sure. We'll give it to you. So I'm gonna try to first hit with my rapier. Does uh, a we said 19 hits, right? Yes. All right. So. Takes 12 damage from the rapier. Okay. I'll use a key point to use flurry of blows. <laughs> okay. First one's 19. Second one's an 18. 19 hits. 18 also barely hits. Okay. So that will be. Oh wait, I forgot to roll my first Hunter Spark D6. On Go for it. Wow. So add another two. How oh, dare now? Yeah, I forgot to roll scene. So that's gonna be another four. <laughs> now I'm gonna roll two d6, one for each flurry. Hunter's mark, and two d4, one for each flurry. So I'm gonna do six plus six is twelve plus eight is twenty. I will action surge <laughs> to hit with my Rapier again for a hit and 
it's not a hit. Okay. So the rapier <laughs> 20 more damage. And then I will use my second keep point to flurry of blows him. Okay. For a miss. And a hit. Okay. <laughs> And I will do another 15 damage to him. You need a calculator over there? No, I got it. And... Is that it? I don't think so. Do you have a free action? I forgot why I play him. Get short you know. Talk some trash. You get six words. <laughs> uh, I think I will... I think you used everything. Except some movement. I mean, you got movement. Yeah, I, got I, I'm not hurt, I would use second one. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, Snow. Still bonker. I will <laughs> action surge. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Drink the potion. Okay. Because that we discussed that as an action, correct? Yes. Bonus action. Action to give it something else. Right. Yeah, oh. yeah, you're good. Bonus action. Alright, so my bonus action will be to drink the potion mm -hmm. of oh, Storm yeah. Giant. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And then I will action surge and swing away. Okay. So four attacks? Yes, yeah, four attacks, right? Mm -hmm. Four attacks, right? Yes. Okay. And with rage on top of it? Well, with rage and advantage. What is advantage on your flanking? Everything's flanking. Oh, yeah. Flanking. Let me pull out the other one. What's your attack bonus with the motion? Plus 12. 12? Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Just checking. 24. Hit. Hit. 21. Hit. You got two more. Yeah, it's, that's yes. a 19. So, whatever. And this hit as well. Alright, okay. so four hits. Yep. All with. Plus 12. So that's gonna no, be a uh, plus 12. Well, for your damage. It's, all gonna be it's, plus not, it's the plus time. That was with plus 12 with 9 plus proficiency. Uh oh, so yeah. just plus nine. Well, plus 9 for strength. And then Trust me, rage yeah. bonus. So whatever, too, so whatever we do. He's, he's fine. Whatever we do, we'll have 36 to it. Okay. Three eighths. Let's go. Uh, 29 plus what? 36. 36. How do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I think you also have two damage for every attack for rage too, right? Yeah, then you added two to this. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm chopping the legs off. You kind of like fully everything. everything. Right. Then probably coming back final with the slice across the belly to open it up. Okay. Can you, as you, your four hits come first. across to each leg, you chop one leg off with each hit, and as you like settle the axe, the, the dragon just kind of falls into your, in your axe. Like, and just it falls it like, very hard because it weighs like, twice as much as it Yes, it falls extremely hard. Uh, and as it does, you all come to, and you and your shadowy form kind of dissipate. And you all see your dead bodies there on the ground. Bruh! Our dead bodies? Our, our dead bodies. bodies. Man. Uh, can I like try to like. Do <laughs> you want to try? Like, just, is that a thing? You just kind of dissipate. Well, I dissipated because I died. Yeah. Uh, so am I like dead? So no, 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 you're back to your, you're back to how you were. Earlier. The shadow dissipated. Uh, yeah, the shadow shadow dissipated. I'm a little bit dead now. Okay. okay. Cool. You're, you're still, still alive. alive. You're That's stage one death. death. But we see, we see our bodies. You see your bodies now in the middle of the floor. So I'm gonna look at you guys and say. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to do the things that I did. I didn't. To be honest, it's probably not choice. the first time you've casted a spell on one of us, and it probably won't be the last. So. Yeah. yeah. I'll say, I'll say, yeah, normally we stand in the Alright. Uh, do you want to try going into your body? Uh, yeah, I'm going to try I'm going to try, try to, like, yeah. go back into my body. <laughs> Y'all just kind of see his ghostly form just kind of floating in his body, going in and out. <laughs> Am I alive, guys? No. no. Did I do it? <laughs> Can we move our bodies? 
you try to move your body, and it doesn't pass through. Pass through. Yeah. Try and pass through the wall. You try going through the wall, it doesn't work. Ow. We're still corporal. Somewhat. Just check. So the only thing we can't touch is ourselves. So. There's a dragon body and the, the, the shadow dragon. The shadow dragon dissipated. Okay. Did we go to the bathroom at all? When our two days. <laughs> 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 did it? Y'all kind of tried. So no urgency. Like, oh, I guess I'm okay. Can you tell me the status of my cold? I'm just curious. So, <laughs> I just want to. Hungry, thirsty, so I don't have to dragon. <laughs> so, we, our dead bodies are on the ground. Yep. And we are Around in some form of shadowy, ethereal form. Yes, you're more. Ghostly looking. Can I move so the someone dragon. else's body besides my own? Can I move her body? You go to try and it does not. But the dragon is also on the ground and we just thought it's ghostly shadow form. Right. So I'm thinking there's a connection between you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, I'm dead dragon with shadow form, dead us with shadow forms. What if it's this room? Let's um yeah, let's we came over our bodies too. I'm gonna look around the room. Okay. Yeah, there's something I would also perception. like I would like to make some pick for the dragon maybe. Can I? Real bad. I don't perceive a lot. Six. You see, you see stone walls. Wow. Open. I, didn't, I didn't use I didn't use, I didn't use any spells to that fight, so here's dark vision, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is what it's like. <laughs> you got six TV. If I like, we usually like, carry torches. If yeah. I like cast <laughs> mage hand, can I like untie my my corpse's shoes? Does that work? No. Are our bodies, our corpses are completely ethereal. We can pass through. Yeah, your your corpses are like untouchable from you. Which is generally not how corpses work. So generally, we would be untouchable, and our corpse would be touchable. Not even magic. Are we on some kind of like mirror Air universe? Mirror plane? I don't think it. That's. Yeah, you think it'd be the opposite. I can try, try saying our names backwards. <laughs> I can try a dimension door and see. Blessed? Does that do anything? I mean, that would just give us 300 feet away. Did you see how much movement it didn't have at one point in time? <laughs> I, know, I know you guys hit it really hard, but did you see how much it didn't move? <laughs> I'm still giant. Just, just killing the corner. <laughs> I may have a very specific um, I'm gonna go, like, do you have anything? Run and check this area, I guess. Okay. Uh, you start to go uh, to the room in the front. Uh, you remember searching it before and it had some weird just stones and stuff that didn't interest you at all, they kind of look normal. As you go this time, uh, there are five stones that are glowing in five different colors. I dash back to the party and I say, you guys gotta get in here, and I dash back. Oh god, <laughs> it must be important. <laughs> you see, like, almost a blur, and for like five seconds as he speaks, or not even five seconds, like two seconds as he says those words, you see his body just kind of sit there in a blurred form, and all of a sudden it's gone. He's doing the thing again. So, I really wish which, he wouldn't do wait, where do you go? I'll say, over here! Uh, I will take oh. very cautious steps to make sure I'll step on him, because I am large and he is tiny. Okay. I'll, uh, float over his way. Okay. You kind of float. You're kind of doing the moonwalk. Getting over there. I'm just sort of, like, lumbering my way, like, through doorways. <laughs> <laughs> you you get to one door and you're like, off. you're like, really tight squeeze through the door. You, you, you take, hear a hinge kind of If I gotta take a door off the hinge, I will. All right, y'all get through to the other room. You see five stones on the ground, all glowing. Any color? All colors? Yeah. Different colors? Five different colors. They're all neutral-like. Like, it's a pale blue, or like a, uh, yeah. a, a, a more Sorry. bricks kind of red. Am I, am I'm I gonna drawn pick one up. to a specific yeah, one? Yeah, that's what I'm uh, You pick one up. Mm -hmm. You feel yourself just kind of get warm, and she's gone. And so is the stone. Ooh, oh, no. Let's go check the other one. I'm going to pick up all of them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to go check the other room. <laughs> okay. You, you, you can do search around. Me. You see her smile on her face now. On the, her corpse? Yeah. But it's still a corpse. <gasps> it's still a corpse. <gasps> it's still a corpse. I mean, it's so hard to No bard ever goes to heaven. <laughs> you right. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I kind of like being half dead. <laughs> I'm grabbing a stone. Uh, you grab a stone. You guys are no fun. Uh, you feel warm in your. Uh, you feel warm and disappear. Alright, I don't want to know what's figuring, what's going on. If nothing else, for science. Warm and you disappear. 
Okay, so let's think about this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so we can still interact. We can still interact. We know where the stones are. We basically can be Bring like spirits this. that defend the countryside. Right. Untouchable, really. I have no need for food, drink, or sleep as it is. So I have no ill effects. I clearly can't that. die from being hungry or thirsty. Yeah, I'll be used to it. Think it, we're gonna stay this way forever. I think we should stay this way, talk to the Wizards College, and see if they need any covert. I think so. we, can, we can be heroes of this Exactly, realm. that's what I'm thinking. Because we can affect other things. I think that I would like to stay in my normal form. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna play around a while. Should we like put our stones in a bag or something? Like I'm thing? scared to touch it. Like just sweep them in? No. <laughs> I don't want to touch it at all. Yeah, okay, you're right. Yeah, that's we know where they are. That's not what I noticed. If we ever get bored, we can come back and touch stone. So yeah, that, should we like seal this place? Or? <laughs> no, we're gonna get back in. I'm still playing TD. Alright, we're, we're gonna go yeah, we're save gonna the, the country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go save the country. <laughs> we're gonna go, I would like to go observe their corpses. Are they dead dead? They definitely dead. Each one of them has like a small smile on their face. Okay, I'm gonna, like their face. Do we, do we want to do, can we touch the bodies now? No. Their bodies? No. Not ours. Oh, well. They don't get a burial. Tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go back to the village. Yeah, we can talk to people and people are still yeah. shit. Uh, as you get back to the village, it's no longer able to be spoken to. You can't pick anything up in the village anymore. Uh, that's rough. It is now like you live lonely you really ever after. Cannot do we anything each anymore. We got each other. Can we see each other? Yeah, like, it's together. <laughs> Uh, alright, well, well this is way other people. Just come here, this is way more boring. Uh, alright, let's just take those two days back. <laughs> Guess we'll go back and we'll touch the stones. Yeah. <laughs> alright, you go back, you go to the stones, you touch them, you feel warm. We go back. You feel cold. You feel cold. Lame. Go down. <laughs> Lame. Or, no, really, you get warm and you see smiles in your faces as you disappear. Okay. No fun. Alright, and that is our first Tale of Edmund, the God's Library. Oh, what was the uh, what was the book? Do you have a title for the tale? It is called The Five Mystery Stones. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that one. <laughs> hey, uh, let me make a note to tell the work on his title. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Most of the books don't have titles. Wow. But cool. That is where we're in for our first one. Yeah. Anthology. Yeah. Just I'll come up with